Hi everyone, welcome to Med Sketch. The toxin of the day is copper. For ease, we have named the scene as the Smurf Garden. You may have seen the famous movie Smurfs. Actually, metallic copper is not dangerous, but some of its salts, such as copper sulfate or the blue vitriol, are indeed poisonous and they are blue in color. So we have represented the scene in the blue color. Also in Urdu, copper sulfate is known as Nila Thotha and its poisoning is quite common and we have represented that with a blue parrot that is flying in the sky. Let's talk about the category of copper. So it belongs to the category of metallic irritants as indicated by a red warning sign on the right side of the scene. So the same cross symbol is used for metallic irritants in most of our videos. So let's talk about the fatal dose in fatal period. So on the left side of the scene, you can see a mushroom heart. On the door, there is a date calendar that says 30. So it is probably representing the date of the month and inside the heart you can see a timer that says 12 24 so the fatal dose of copper is 30 grams and fatal period is 12 to 24 hours so let's talk about the mechanism of action on the right side of the scene you can see black and yellow barrier that is representing that copper is a powerful inhibitor of many enzymes of the body so just you have to remember that it is inhibitor of our organic enzymes in the body so let's talk about sign and symptoms of the acute poisoning so on the right side of the scene you can see a blue smurf that is holding a cloth in his left hand so you can see there is a fire sign on the abdomen our smurf is also vomiting and the color of the vomit is, is green or blue and you can see stars on his head and beside the smurf on the right side you can see a water bottle so what are they representing so the bottle on the right side is representing the thirst in case of acute poisoning also the burning in the stomach is a characteristic of acute poisoning along with the colicky abdominal pain vomiting and diarrhea can be present as you can see there is brownish fluid on the ground the color of the vomitus you can see is green or blue so just remember that greenish or blue vomitus is characteristic of copper poisoning and you have to distinguish it from bile or bilious vomiting the stools are liquid and brown in color and they are not bloody as you can see. The stars on the head of the smurf are representing convulsions. Also our smurf is a bit sweaty so cold perspiration can also be present that indicates circulatory collapse. So I'll summarize the symptoms of the acute poisoning. You can have increased thirst burning in the stomach with the colicky abdominal pain vomiting diarrhea collapse the vomit is, is green or blue stools are liquid and brown you can have cold perspirations and convulsions can be present let's talk about sign and symptoms of the chronic poisoning some of the symptoms are very much similar so on the heart you can see there is a sentence written i love metals the same sentence was used in our mercury video also in our lead video so metallic taste is present both in acute and chronic poisoning and the symptoms such as vomiting colicky pain diarrhea constipation etc are also similar to the acute poisoning some of the important features that are significant in chronic poisoning are indicated by two new characters so in the middle of scene you can see a smurf that is just falling to the ground and another smurf that is of brown color so basically the falling smurf is representing the phenomena of wrist drop or foot drop in some cases so you can see as he is falling to the ground so you can remember that wrist drop and foot drop is present so it is because of the peripheral neuritis also the brown smurf is representing the phenomena of wilson disease and bronze diabetes so bronze diabetes is present and it is due to the accumulation of copper in the body which is also known as hemochromatosis just focus on the door of the heart you can see just above the calendar you can see an eye that is representing the phenomena of wilson disease so wilson disease is due to the accumulation of copper in the cornea 
that is known as the cashier flasher ring and it is mostly asked in your exams as well so just remember cashier flasher ring is due to the accumulation of copper in cornea listening along with the metallic taste and vomiting diarrhea etc wrist drop and foot drop can be present due to the peripheral neuritis and wilson disease indicated by the eye can be present and bronze diabetes that is indicated by the brown smurf let's talk about the postmortem appearance the postmortem appearance is represented by a smurf that is on the right side of the smurf that was falling to the ground and this smurf is just lying on the ground and you can see froth is coming from the mouth so greenish blue froth may be present at the mouth and nostrils of the diseased individuals and bluish or greenish colorization of the gastric mucosa can also be present as the smurf is blue colored already mucous membrane can be congested inflamed etc and liver may be soft and fatty hemochromatosis or bronze diabetes can also be present so you just remember that uh, froth can be present on the mouth and bluish or greenish colorization of the gastric mucosa so let's talk about the medical legal importance of copper poisoning so inside the heart you can see phosphorus symbol that is present in the heart so copper sulfate is used as an antidote for phosphorus poisoning so represent the phosphorus poisoning we have placed the element of phosphorus in the heart also it is sometimes used to commit suicide and it can be ingested by children due to its attractive color as i had told you that the color is quite vibrant and is blue in color so let's talk about the treatment and management of copper poisoning so you can see inside the hut there is our classic gastric lavage bottle and on the bottle it is written kfc also the symbol of kfc is present on the hut so it is representing the potassium ferrocyanide kfc potassium k ferro f and cyanide c potassium ferrocyanide so stomach may be washed with 1% solution of potassium ferrocyanide which forms an insoluble compound cupric ferrocyanide also you can see on the front of the scene that a smurf is carrying a log beside the smurf you can see our board of mr ed taller and miss bell from the lead video our carpenter smurf also has a pencil on his ears also there is a film on the left side so these all are representing the medical treatment of copper poisoning so the pencil is representing penicillinamine and mr ed taylor as we have talked earlier also it is representing that edta ed taylor edta is also used in the poisoning Miss Bell is representing ball or dimercaprol. The film on the left side of the smurf is representing demulcents. Demulcent films can also be used in copper poisoning. So let's uh, revise the treatment. Stomach wash with potassium ferrocyanide, penicillinamine, BAL or dimercaprol (EDTA). and demulcent are administered in copper poisoning so you must be wondering what is edta so edta is basically ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid and it basically binds metallic ions at neutral ph there was an important feature that i missed during the chronic poisoning explanation so you can see on the left side of the scene that a tooth in a green balloon is visible so basically it is representing a green line on the gums at the base of teeth so these green lines can also be visible in chronic poisoning so it was all about copper poisoning i hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions drop in the comment section till then take care for detailed literature of toxins refer our textbook excel forensic medicine and toxicology available at all major medical bookstore all over pakistan